Hello everybody, welcome back to Crumbback. Now we're going to be drilling some or planting some sugarcane today, which is not something we usually do, and it's certainly not the right region to be doing sugarcane in. But it's just such a shame not to do sugarcane, because I never do it, because uh, I never really play on those maps where sugarcane is grown. So this field is going to be sugarcane. We're going to have to cultivate it first, then we're going to get the billet planter, and we can put them in. Um, but yes, the cultivator that we have is not the largest so it's probably going to be quite a good idea to upgrade it now we're not just going to upgrade it without getting rid of the first one so we will drop off the muck spreader and we'll take the zerian wait i already had it dropped off we'll take the zerian to the store with the with the original one which is tiny really tiny like we could use it but it would take forever i don't think we want to use it I just noticed the visibility on the back of here actually uh, isn't the best because we, we, yeah, we're sort of looking straight at this pillar in between the two rear windows. But yeah, this is the cultivator. We could put it on a worker, but we're not going to. We're just going to do it ourselves with something a bit bigger. And then once we have planted the sugar cane, we will move on to April. Okay. So repair, repair it for three pounds, repaint it for a thousand pounds, crack it, that's expensive, and we'll sell it. There we go. So into the cultivator category. I'm pretty sure you do have to cultivate first because it doesn't say it direct plants or anything. Uh, right, yeah, cultivators. Oh, I suppose we could go for um, disc harrows. Uh, that's something which I haven't really used that much. It requires 330 horsepower, which is a bit more than what Azarian is, I reckon. Um, but if we just rented it for four thousand pounds, that would be quite fun. Now we actually could put it on the quad track, so if we do have any issues power-wise, onto the quad track it goes. Although, yes, yeah, the obvious thing to do is just to put it on the quad track anyway in the first place. Uh, but no, I'd like to uh, just see how well the Zerian can handle it. Right, we can check the speed that it's supposed to work at, and then go against what we're doing, so we'll know if it's struggling or not. It is quite a wide one, this. And this field is bigger than it looks. If we were doing it with that tiny one, it would be absolutely painful. Yeah, so there we go. Double unfold. That's amazing. The speed which we are supposed to be able to do with this is 11 miles per hour. Wow, it's a fast one. But the question is, will the Zerian be able to pull it to 11 miles per hour? Downhill, no problem. But uphill, that's the question. Eight, so it's not too bad. Like, we could get by. But as we do have the quadrack, it probably would make sense to use it. Because I would like to do this myself, really, instead of using a worker. Because we're going to be using a worker for the billet planting, because that really will be slow. Even the biggest billet planter is pretty small. Um, well, the working width is small. The phys physical machine, the physically, uh, physical size of it, I should say, is large. You wouldn't stand next to it and say, oh, that's tiny. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. Eight miles per hour, that seems to be our limit for when it's pulling uphill. So I think what I'll do is I'll go around to that side and then we'll swap over. Yeah, that's faster. That feels a lot more satisfying. Uh, it's amazing how much two or three months per hour I can do. So, we will spin round. How did I miss that last piece? How annoying. Let's spin again. Let's go for a spinny. Uh, yes, we'll go and get the billet planter. We will actually return this cultivator straight away because we have no need 
to keep it. We kind of have disposable income, I guess you could say, because, yeah, we have £382,000, so we can afford to rent a cultivator for four and a half, um, just to get a job done faster, because it makes sense. We can get the job done faster, we can get more done. So there we go. And, of course, the billet planter will be rented as well. Um, I think probably not the best tractor for it. In fact, this doesn't even have a three-point linkage, so no. The quad track is not suitable. But uh, I think the Zarian actually would be. I think we'll probably put it on the Zarian. Because those billet plants are fully mounted, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, actually, no, they might have some wheels on the ground. I'm thinking out loud here. Well, they do go on the three-point linkage. But yeah, I, I just can't remember if you transport them down the road with the wheels down. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. But yeah, if you don't, that is going to be a lot of weight on the back of the tractor. So yeah, let's um, let's head off. And we're going to have to buy quite a lot of uh, well, billets, I guess, as it is a billet planter. I like the Zerian. <laughs> it's a good tractor. Okay, right, so into here and into no not no, yes yeah, sugarcane yes what am i thinking um yes it looks like we do have some contact on the ground uh, we'll just see about that though four thousand three hundred pounds and then we're gonna have to go into pallets uh pallets again i think it's been a long time since i've done these sugarcane yes there we go there we go it's been too long, actually. It's been way too long. No idea how many we need, but I seem to remember that it does go a long way. A little goes a long way. But then again, maybe I've got this confused with something else, and maybe a little goes nowhere at all. <laughs> Which wouldn't surprise me. Um, yeah, you see? Look how big that machine is, but the working width isn't that great. Oh, it does fertilizer as well. How fancy. That is fancy. So, um, uh, probably three. If we don't use it all, we can just use it on another job. So... That's fine. Get these loaded up. Looks like it is exactly four. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, they've designed the capacity to be the same as a, as four pallets. Seen so always left over with something. So off we go. It looks like we are keeping some wheels on the ground. That makes perfect sense because that would be so heavy. Yeah, we'd be up in the air. But the tail swing is immense. Wow, look at that tail swing. I'll have to be extra careful. Not that it really matters, because I crash all the time anyway. That is, yeah, that is impressive, Tailswind. I guess you'd need an escort or something. Although maybe, um, in countries where these are used a lot, maybe they just stay on the farm tracks, so they don't really need to go on the road. I'm not too sure. Or maybe the roads are really wide. Because I'm talking about the UK. <laughs> the UK, where the roads couldn't really be much narrower. You can just about get through. Forgot about this slalom. Okay, I think we're going to make it. So I'm hoping a worker can do quite a lot of this. We do need a bit of turning space actually, so we don't want to be going right up to the end. Yep, that helps. Um, switch it on. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so we do need to leave turning space. It's not the most ideal feel. I think just a perfect rectangle or a perfect square is ideal. I don't know if I should be following the headland or if I should be just going up. And I probably shouldn't do this. No, we should be all right. Though. There's plenty of space to turn around on the track. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see how we go. If we do need to refill, I might take the telehandler, put some pallets on the uh, trailer instead. It's not the easiest machine to take down the road. But the point is, we're planting sugarcane for the first time in a long time. So this will make a nice change. That's actually touching the tractor. I don't think it's the right tractor for the machine. No, okay, <laughs> it doesn't matter too much. But it is getting through it quite quickly. We won't need to get any more fertiliser, but we almost certainly will have to get some more sugarcane. As for turning around at this end, I think we'll stop about there. Should be fine. Okay, right, well, I'm going to crack on. And I'll see you in a second.
Okay, so we're in a nice open area. I've put it on a worker. We're about to run out of uh, product. So what we'll do is we'll head off to the store and we'll get this filled up. We actually do have a forklift over there, as I realised, so we don't need to take the telehandler. We can just take the Massey Ferguson with this trailer. And how much has it actually done? How much have we done, I should say? Yeah, probably just less than half. So we probably realistically need to get about six pallets because it's four to fill it. And then, yeah, two extras to finish the field. So we get six. Let's put the beacons on. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely always going to keep this massive focus because it's fantastic for um, this sort of job. Small jobs, lightweight jobs. Into pallets, sugarcane. With the sugarcane, you actually can't just select a number and then bulk buy. That's interesting. I think that was six. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Yeah, that was six. Okay, good. So, that's run out. Yeah, the worker has stopped. Let's just spin around here, try not to hit everything. We'll load up and we'll get back to the field. That's actually not too bad. Right, good, we've made it around the bends. So that field is starting to look much better. Uh, we could have actually done the sugarcane in April, but it makes sense just to get it in the ground now. We still have the massive field to do, which we're definitely not doing a sugarcane because it, it, it's absolutely huge, that field. Um, yeah, we'll just drill it with a big drill, maybe something like wheat. But here we go. Get four of these in. I brought the fertilizer anyway, but we don't need it. Okay, I just put it in there. It just took it naturally. But that's fine. We can unload afterwards and we'll put all the fertilizer in the yard. So get all these in and then we will probably take the massive focus back to the yard. That makes sense. Yeah, it's quite a lot here. And yeah, we'll put it back on a worker. Almost full. Nice. Okay, off you go. <laughs> oh, bit of wheel spin with excitement. Celebratory wheel spin. Yeah, I think it's because it doesn't really fit the tractor properly, which is weird because well, I think it's, the tractor is too big, actually. Um, yeah, should be putting it on a smaller tractor. The fence would have likely been ideal. Oh, wow. Now, I thought we uh, had done more than that, actually. We haven't covered as much ground as I thought. I hope I have enough then. I really hope we have enough. Hmm. That's potentially an issue. Best thing to do though is just to leave that going. I'm not going to take this back to the yard anymore because clearly we need to keep it local. Um, yeah, so the cows, they have still got loads and loads of slurry. They're just pooping machines. They have quite a lot of food, but they do still need to have more silage made for them. And as you can see, this field is not quite ready, but next month I'm hoping to cut this for silage. Um, actually, I might do, should I do silage bales? That would make it a bit different, wouldn't it? Hmm, that would be good. So, yeah, what I'll do is I'll take... I guess we'll use this tractor. I'll take the uh, slurry spreader back to the cow farm. We'll transfer a bit more slurry across to the BGA if it has processed some. Um, maybe it's worth checking before we actually set off. I know it was pretty full. Yeah, there is space for some more. Maybe one more load. So that would be a good thing to do. We're making money from the biogas. It's a heavy, heavy trailer for this tractor, but 
It is empty. So that is going to help. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm definitely getting better at navigating the yard. I'm always hitting the fence. Um, but yeah, so far today, I think I might have only hit it once. And that is, that is a record. To not hit the fence in an episode would be a dream come true. But, you know, sometimes you've just got to keep dreaming. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so I don't know if I'll still be able to put in solid manure as well as slurry, because the actual BJ looks full. So if I was to fill this to the top, would I then be able to fill this to the top? Or is the processor just naturally full at that point? I think I'll try it. But first things first, I probably should have put this on the fence before filling it, but anyway, let's get this taken over there. It would be a good idea to uh, transfer some solid manure, because we have a serious amount. So if, if the space, if it works, then that'd be great. Because getting money in naturally, just as time passes, is very nice. Very nice. It, it just, yeah, it, you feel like you're getting money for doing nothing. Of course we are doing something, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay, that's going well. So into the wheel loader. Let's go and get a bucket load. Yeah, because it looks full. Has slurry just naturally filled it? Or do we get a separate capacity for each product? Uh, I don't know if I should call it a product or... It's not really a commodity, is it? Not really. Waste... A byproduct, that's probably the best uh, term for it. Yes, byproduct. So first of all, let's just see if that's filled. Oh, it hasn't. It's still got loads of space for slurry. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let's put that the manure in. Uh, we'll now activate the manure. That's empty, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do a lap. We'll get a load more. The thing is, these cows, they, they produce so much. I, I just can't keep up with them. I've never known anyone to go to the toilet so often. Yeah, we just keep tabbing through, keep looking at all the different machines. So back into the wheel loader, get another solid clump of poop. I love how we can make money from the cows through the milk, and then we can make even more money from their byproducts. Of course, we have a use either way. If we don't want to make money from the byproducts, we can just spread it on the land and save money instead. So it's up to us. We can either save money or make money. I think, yeah, running a... In this game, at least, running a livestock farm with an arable farm is very beneficial. So we do still have space for slurry. Let me do another lap. How empty are we? <laughs> Still loads, and that fills in no time. I suppose we do have quite a lot of cows now, though. They have been breeding. So let's transfer another 24,000 litres. Speed and power, something this tractor does not have. Although, to be fair, I'm not really using this tractor for the jobs it should be used for. It's only a 50 uh, for 75. So this won't be all taken, because there isn't enough space for that amount. So it should stop unloading in a second, hopefully. Well, not hopefully, but yeah. There we go. So now the question is, can we keep going with this solid manure? Oh, there isn't much uh, capacity for solid manure. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I <laughs> drive forwards into it. Oh dear. Yes, obviously when we rest to move on to April, Everything is going to go down, so it's going to process everything. We can keep topping it up. More money will come in. It's all going to go well. Everything's working in our favour. I will be starting a new series soon. Not in replacement of this one. In addition, I've said this quite often. Uh, I've just been trying to find the right map. And I think I know which one I want to do. But I won't say, just in case I change my mind. 
Yep, so despite that being full, we can still keep going with this. Some people are probably thinking, why do you even keep saying that? There's no correlation between the two. But it's just because it's going into the same trigger there. Gotta keep this pile a bit smaller, it's getting massive. Silage is the next big thing. We really do need more silage. I did process some of it for biogas, and well, I guess looking back, it was probably a mistake. Right, one more bucket load or buck rake load. Let's make lots of money through biogas. Right, so we've hit capacity for both of those. So that's fantastic. I can leave that tipping actually. So we'll just quickly get back to this. Yep, that's doing well. So we'll be able to finish this in the next episode. And yeah, it's looking like the two extra pallets that we have will be enough. So that's great. There's nothing worse when you overbuy, because you just get left with it and they just start kicking around the farm. So yeah, I think I think I probably have bought the right amount, which is unusual. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>